So, OKKO OK Let's Be Heroes has been cancelled by Cartoon Network. With Clarence being cancelled and Gumball recently ending, it seems like some of my favorite shows are going away. Hey guys, what's up? Sirma11 here and OKKO OK recently had a crossover episode with Sonic the Hedgehog. This was not the only crossover as the show has crossed over with Ben 10, Steven Universe, Teen Titans Go, Captain Planet, and Ghoul School. Recently, the creator of OKKO, OK Ian Jones Cordy, interviewed with Den of Geek, and he revealed the show's cancellation in this interview. In this interview, he said, Well, now that we're through with Sonic, I'm really hoping that everyone binges, gets caught up, watches every week, and joins us for the series finale, which is going to play later this year. It's the culmination of a lot of things that we've been working on, and it's just coming out to be a whole lot of fun. In OKKO, we do our big, serious stories, but we always make sure that for every deep, dark thing, there's like a million jokes to help you ride through. I hope everybody joins us for that. Ian took to Twitter to give more information on this statement and said, Please don't spread the rumor that it was my choice to end OKKO Let's Be Heroes. It wasn't. However, Cartoon Network gave us the bad news early enough that we were able to spend this season during our planned ending. I'm proud of what we're making and I can't wait for you to see it. So, OKKO OK wasn't ended by Ian or anything like that. Cartoon Network ended it and nothing about that can be done. I do think it was a good move on Cartoon Network's part to tell Ian early so that he could end the show the way he wanted to. The Gizmodo article that I used for this video mentions how the show got more serious for the final season and that's definitely true. I recently started season 3 and I feel like it was serious for too long. The first few episodes of season 3 are serious which is something that the show normally doesn't do. I was ready to go back to the random adventures, and the show did do that. I think two things killed OKKO. OK Season 1 aired fairly fast, taking less than a year to air 52 episodes. Viewership for those episodes was pretty good, with some of the earlier episodes having over a million viewers, and then later ones being right under a million. But as the show went on, you can see that the viewership dropped, and it dropped hard. A big problem with OKKO OK was that it didn't air on TV at points. Something that I think Cartoon Network doesn't notice is that TV is still important and you can't expect every fan to use an application to watch TV shows. Just because you have it on an app doesn't mean everyone is going to check it out because if you make it a process where it's not free, people are just going to go find it elsewhere. Second is bad scheduling. Now, Ian said he got this news early, so who knows if that was before Season 3 or during their process of working on Season 3. But let's just say, for the sake of my argument, it got canceled before its Sunday time slot. And Ian can't really control the time slot anyways. So, I don't know what's up with networks and wanting to air new episodes of shows on Saturdays and Sundays. Also, two episodes a week, that's a good sign that the show is dead. A Sunday time slot is bad, but it's not a death sentence. I imagine if viewership for the show shot back up, Cartoon Network would bring it back. OKKO OK is plot driven at points, and I think that hurt it too. If you remember a while back, I talked about some information that may have come from a Cartoon Network employee on why Teen Titans Go airs a lot and why Steven Universe doesn't air. True or not, they brought up a good point of a story driven show being harder to air. Teen Titans Go! and Gumball can just air any episode from Season 1, Season 2, Season 3, Season 4, any episode, in any order, any day, because it doesn't matter, because it's just easy to get into. Steven Universe could air, I think it should air more on the network, but it needs to be in order. Now, I do think that if you watch a random episode of Steven Universe, you could say, hey, I like this, and want to keep watching it. That definitely could happen, but... You're not going to understand certain things just because Steven Universe is a plot-driven show. And it's the same with OKKO, OK which is more of a mix of random episodes and plot-driven episodes, but it still should be aired in order. A bonus point, or a third point that I noticed, was that Ian himself was promoting the show's new episodes on his Twitter account. Now, initially, there's nothing wrong with that, but I shouldn't see the creator being the only one to promote the show. Where was Cartoon Network? 
episodes of the show would be dropped on their app very far in advance of the TV broadcast. Also, OKKO OK did a subplot with Enid, and this is a cool subplot, but Cartoon Network stopped airing the show in the middle of this subplot, and then it came back. It just doesn't sit right to end in the middle of a story arc, and then, you know, tell people, hey, you can watch the other episodes on the application. It just doesn't seem right to me. Also, people would ask Ian why the show wasn't airing on TV, and he didn't know. That's a problem, Cartoon Network. You're not really being clear with your creators here. I know Ian doesn't control how the show airs, but I feel like he should at least know when the show was airing and how the show was airing. OKKO OK was truly a great show as it went on. I remember Ian saying that the plot would be silly, but honestly, what they created was pretty good and interesting. Switching focus to Enid for a few episodes was really good and turned out to be some of the show's best work. He got the crossover with some current shows, and that special put in a lot, if not all, of Cartoon Network's library in one episode. Getting a crossover with Sonic is pretty big, too. He brought back the crossovers that the network used to do. Plus, the whole story of who is KO's father has been fun. I made a few theory videos on that, and they seem to be getting comments now. The show was fun, and I think the team worked their butts off to create this universe. A lot of interesting things going on. There were cards for all of the characters, which is so random, but it's an awesome idea. Just a lot of great stuff. If you haven't seen the show, I suggest checking it out. I believe there are eight episodes left in season three. It's shorter than normal. Normally, the seasons are 52 episodes, and this season is 26, I believe. I hope the show ends on a good note. Ian, you did a good job. I'm sorry the show got canceled. Hopefully, you'll create something else in the future. And thank you for creating OKKO, OK because it's been... Very fun to watch. Anyways, that's it for me. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you like my content and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. The links are below. I'm SirMo11. See you next time and peace out.